Welcome to the party. Boom! Topic Thunder. Johnny and the Greg. Greg! Fourth time in a row. I am Fourth so impressed. Time. And yep. I, just because you're here, I thought I'd wear the same shirt and the same hat. I think I did too. I think I did too. And is this the same hat? Is this the is this the whiskey? I think I it believe is. it is. I think I it's the, it I think it's the one I wore last time. So. All right. Well, sir. Cheers. Okay, Greg. Why don't you inform the people what Topic Thunder is about? Topic Thunder is where you and I get together, either online or in your basement, and we talk about studio one studio studio, <laughs> studio. <laughs> basement studio uh and we we just pick a random topic and we talk about it takes us anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes usually if in case that's we, the guideline that's the guideline guidelines are sometimes made to be bent or broken uh and we just kind of talk about that then we do one random fact one random fact of the day and then we're out so then we're out so guys sit back relax you're about to get <clears throat> topic thunderized Skull. Th- thunder, thunder is thunderism, thunderism. thunder punch, thunder, thunder is. <laughs> okay, random, <laughs> random topic right, what is. Do we got? Presidential candidate Will Smith or Joe Rogan? Oh. Who would you vote for, like, Will Smith like, or Joe Rogan, if they're running for president? So like, like twenty twenty. Is that the one after that? Because they're not going to make it for the next one. No, not not the next one. Give me like twenty minutes. But not the next one. Um, gosh. Joe Rogan or Will Smith? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I know Will Smith's politics. Mm. I. Anybody that listens to the Joe Rogan podcast pretty much knows his politics. Yeah, yeah, and um, I don't. I mean. I right, don't right. disagree with him on a lot of stuff. I don't so. agree with him a lot. I just I don't disagree with him on a lot either. Um, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't know if we know the real Will Smith anymore. Um, I mean, he did. It, did we ever? Did we ever know the real Will Smith? I don't. I, know. I believe every. I believe the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is actually a documentary on his life. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh gosh! Um, anybody that knows me from college knows I'm a I was a huge Will Smith oh, fan. Huge, yeah. Will Smith fan. Kind of embarrassing, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would have been embarrassed too. Um, <sighs> but like, what? I mean, he's. I mean, we know a lot about his life. We know he's second or third marriage. But this last one, second, second, second marriage. marriage second he's, marriage. He's, they've worked through a ton of stuff Keep, according to what uh, uh i don't we, do they have an open marriage is, did, i have ever no idea that? i really have no idea i mean i i i followed his career like in the 90s when he was doing lots of stuff i like some of his more serious roles as well um his marriage though i the most that i know he's married to jada pinkett smith who you know has had an interesting career stuff he's he's I know made a lot of money outside of the entertainment industry with their production, not even the production companies, but like different businesses that he's gotten into and set up and things like that. Yeah. So, so he's got that, he's got kind of that entrepreneurial spirit about him mm-hmm. uh, of what it takes to run a business. I think, uh, and now I'm getting more into this the more I think about it, he surrounded himself with people that know how to run aspects of companies which is always a sign of a good leader so because like any any president i don't care you you can go like the first president in my uh lifetime that i remember is ronald reagan um me too and i think the presidents that i've seen since them the good ones the bad ones the ones in between uh what i've learned the most is like it's not one man running the entire show I mean, the president, they say, is, you know, the buck stops here. He's the end all. Commander in chief. Commander in chief. But that's really not true. Correct. Because he's got four chiefs of staff that he's getting advice from. He's got so many checks and balances. He's got his, yeah, he's got his entire cabinet, mm-hmm. which are the best people for those jobs that, that he thinks. Mm-hmm. So he's not really making any one decision, like, completely uninformed or on his own. I'd say 
except for what I see some of our current president doing. And I'm not saying whether I like all of his decisions or hate all of his decisions, but I've seen him make some decisions that don't seem like he's taking the advice of the people that he's hired. So, so I don't know. But in Will Smith's case, I'm assuming he's surrounding himself with good people that he would then bring along or bring up to a cabinet position. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Um, here's the thing. I think, I, I, you know what? I, fo- I followed Will Smith's Instagram. I still do. Mm-hmm. Um, he has some, most of the time now, it's just him on vacation enjoying his family. Isn't it like motivational stuff, though, a little bit? Or? More what? Motivational, like yeah, he has some like good how motivation. How to go out, be a good person. Yeah, like don't be a douche. Yeah, so I think it's probably maybe, good, maybe good that should be his campaign slogan. Yeah, don't be a douche. Um, Vote for Will. Don't be a douche. Um, yeah, it's he strikes me as a guy that's not an idiot. He's right. actually rapped about being running for president one day, so he's thought of it. So he has mm-hmm. some sort of political views i'm sure i'm sure mm-hmm. he, I, I, if he's thought about it I, I remember i don't know the exact verse but i remember him saying like he'd run for president and it's not a joke like hmm. so he's actually thought of it i don't know the exact but like do you, do you don't know any of it like uh, i have no i, I pulled up, I pulled like up here his religion uh i mean now he identifies as Baptist, Christian, yeah though he's vocally praised scientology well that's it it's over <laughs> Um, he denies having converted to to the religion, claiming to be a student of all religions, but is still a Christian. Smith is a tried and true Democrat. Um, I, that doesn't sway me one way or the yeah, other. That, I, I'm not. What that, does that mean anymore? I'm not that type. Um, uh, I, this is a huge article. I, we don't have time for me to read the entire thing, but um, actually, I kind of probably want to re- read that after this. Um, but anyway. Uh, He's not a bad. I don't think he'd be a bad candidate. I don't well, think. I have. I've never heard him really give political views. I think a lot of actors are staying away from that right now, so yeah. they're not giving a lot. Um, Joe, you pretty much know where Joe stands at all times. Yeah. Um, and I even like, if you don't watch his podcast, if you even watch one of his stand ups, yeah, his stand up specials, yeah. which are great, yes, but you'll get to know where he's at. Yeah. Um, he doesn't deny where he's at, but at the end of the day, I think it's just based off of. His Will Smith would be don't be a douche. His would don't be a dick. Yeah, and yeah. that's pretty much. I think he's well informed. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm talking about Joe. I think Joe's well informed. I think Joe's honest. I don't. Here's the one thing. I don't think he would bend to anything. There's been many times I I I've heard him say I don't know if it's actually true, but he turns down sponsorships left and right that mm-hmm. have offered him tons of melon because he didn't believe in the product or he thinks I don't need that. Right. He's been told not to have three to four hour podcasts and he's ignored that and those have sure. become successful. So he's his own man, but he's mm-hmm. still open minded enough to change his mind on things if he hears a better point of view. Or, yeah. So Hard, I mean, it's hard to say. It is hard to say because I haven't I, heard enough of Will to counter it. Right. Yeah, I guess I don't know Will Smith's, like I said, I don't know his, don't know his politics enough. Uh, I would very much look forward to that debate. Yeah, absolutely. Of watching those two guys. Debate each other. Yeah, just have. I or mean, ha- or debate I, the topics. Right? And I think it would actually be probably a more civil conversation than most of the debates we have now. Yeah. Because they... I think are respectful of others' opinions. And I think they would probably say, whether I agree with your opinion or not, what you're thinking is what you think is best for the country. Right. And we can have that common ground of that we both want what's best for the country. Yeah. And, you know, I I would hope that they would... It would be interesting, because I would say, if this could happen, don't, don't align yourself with... Republican or Democrat, because I think that's part of the death of the system right now. I agree. Is that people think that the only people that are going to get elected are a Republican and a Democrat, and the only way that this system is ever going to change enough is if we blow that out of the water and elect somebody that isn't a part of either party. Right. And then watch both parties just absolutely shit themselves in fear 
over what's going to happen next if we don't have control over this. Well, whatever so. happened to the best man win? Oh, yeah, that's that's not a thing You know, anymore. I mean, I think if we just kind of go back to that, I think. I would think we should go back to the vice president is the guy that came in second. Oh, interesting. That was that was once upon a time. That's what you match so Hillary Clinton would be vice president. Vice president. Yep. Can you imagine those two at a meeting? No, but I, th- <laughs> God, I think no. it would add to some sort of a, a respect factor. Like I don't think he, I don't think Trump would have went as hard at Hillary. You know. Yeah. But he's he's that's it's a whole different story. Yeah. Anyway, that's not the topic here. The topic here is Will Smith or Joe Rogan. I don't know who I'd vote for. Um, because again, I I feel like I don't know enough about Will to sit there and say Rogan or Will. I don't know. Yeah, but I think it would definitely be an interesting debate. Oh, it would, yeah, it def- would be the most highly attended debate. Yeah, we would get. A- I think you'd actually be more shocked for the people that don't know these two individuals. I think as much as you and I do. Yeah. Um, I think they would be shocked at. Oh my gosh, they're actually quite smart and they're making points. That's yeah. what I think a lot of people don't understand about comedians mm-hmm. is they see they see the realness and the oddness in the world and they turn it into a joke. Yeah. Have you ever sat there? How many times have you sat there watching a comedian going, oh, my God, he's funny because he's right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Um, so I, I think we're at a crossroads. I don't, I don't think we know enough to – yeah, but sometimes we don't have to come to I, a conclusion. Sometimes it's just talking about a topic. And I would say, I mean, and we're, we're trying to build this part, but I would say I throw it out to the people at home. What yeah. do you What do you think? Put Put it in the comments down below. Who would you choose? Would you choose Will Smith as your president, or would you choose Joe Rogan? And then tell us why. I think you said it perfect. Okay. So with that, we will go to our random fact of the day. Here we go. Don't know what I'm doing with the mouse. Sorry, folks. That's okay. They can't see it. Generating. In countries that don't have ranch dressing, the flavor that is often described as America's flavor when used in snack foods. Oh, that's sad. I don't understand that. Uh, you seem to so, have understood that better. Okay, yeah. So, like, if you, I don't know, pick a country in the world that doesn't have ranch. Italy. Okay. okay. I don't, I don't so, know. I don't just know. So, may, so maybe they don't have ranch Dressing. dressing in Italy. They call it America's flavor? They call it American flavor. So, like, we call fake cheese American cheese. They would call ranch dressing, which is used all over the place. And speaking of comedians, Jim Gaffigan has a great bit on ranch dressing. Ranch dressing? Okay. Uh, people just need to just chill out on the ranch dressing and dipping it in everything. <laughs> um, they just call it American. Really? Yeah. That is like what Like, when you say French dressing, you know what I'm talking about. Right. They call it American. Huh. And that's what we call ranch. So a Hidden Valley American dressing. That is sad. That our American flavor is ranch. Ranch. Think about that. I don't want to. Out of all the flavors, like we're known for what? Apple pie and, or we used to be, right? Apple pie, hot dog at the ballpark. Bourbons and American. Yeah, uh, burgers. Yeah, well... And all of a sudden now ranch, everybody else thinks of us as, that's America's flavor. I, my my oldest daughter will, whether she likes a restaurant or not, will base it on how good is their ranch. If they have shitty ranch. So your daughter fits the stereotype. Bad, oh, yeah, she does. In this particular case, she does. All right. Well, we'll, we'll say, do you want to go here? She goes, no, they have bad ranch. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I used to. I'm like, oh, I can play the dad trump card on that one. <laughs> but yeah, she'll do that. All right. Well, you heard it here, folks. Our flavor is ranch. So, all right, Greg. Topic Thunder out. Thank you yep. very much. Cool. Maybe if we do one more, we should... Uh, you I know... can wash the shirt again. Okay. All right. Let's, let's keep it up and see what happens. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. And I am... St-